welcome to the Having It All podcast, the show about what it takes to live an abundant, loving life. My name is Matthew Bivens, and each week I'm helping you get out of your head so that you can truly have it all. Let's do it. What's going on, my awesome friend? Welcome back to the Having It All podcast. I am Matthew Bivens, your balanced lifestyle coach, and thank you so much for choosing to come hang out with me today for another conversation where we discuss What does it look like and feel like to have it all and to live an abundant, loving life? That's what having it all means to me on this show. It's all about living an abundant, loving life. And I believe that each and every one of us can have it all. So this is the place to come to learn how to have it all and to create your own abundant, loving life. For today's pep talk, I'm speaking to you if you are feeling like this never-ending pandemic just has you on the verge of cracking. If the stress of living and working from home feels like it's too much to handle, if you're feeling relationships that are being strained because you're so confined together, and if it just feels like it's going on and on and on and on with really no end in sight, and you just want things to get back to normal, then this pep talk is for you. If this is your first time listening to the show, then I just want to say welcome. Welcome and thank you for taking a chance on this podcast and on this conversation. I am so thrilled that you are here. Once again, I'm Matthew Bivens, and as I like to say, I am your balance lifestyle coach. And when I say that, I mean it. I'm your coach. And part of what I do as a coach is hold space for you. Sometimes the space that I hold is all about compassion. I'm just there to empathize and to feel those emotions with you. Sometimes it's coming from a place of understanding, like, yeah, I get what you're going through. I've been there as well. And sometimes it comes a little bit of heat on it, you know, when you need that motivation, that fire under your butt to get moving. I do it all. And all of it comes from a place of love. Because at the core, I truly want you to experience your abundant, loving life. So consider this a pep talk where I'm speaking directly to you, right to you. This is me coaching you through something. So I recommend that you listen to this by yourself. I recommend putting some headphones on that'll help it help make it feel a bit more intimate because I really want you to feel like I'm right there with you. All right? So take a moment and get yourself prepared. And let's get rolling. So, I can understand why you're feeling ready to crack. This has been a crazy year, and the stress that you've been under is unlike anything that you've probably experienced before. Your work has changed. Maybe you're working from home, even though that's not your ideal situation, and you don't even have the proper setup for it. You're now in super close quarters with Maybe your spouse or partner or roommate or family and you're feeling the strain of all of that on your relationships. You don't know if there's an end in sight because every day it seems like the experts are saying this is going to go for more weeks, more months, more years. Who knows? I want to tell you this so that you can just hear it for yourself, that you can hear someone saying these words. The way you're feeling is okay. It really is. It's okay to be feeling like you're going crazy and to be so frustrated or scared or angry or lonely or feeling hopeless. It's okay. This is such a unique situation that you're in, that we're all in. And I just want you to know that it's okay to feel the way that you're feeling. So take a breath. Literally, take a breath right now. Let off some steam if you feel like you need to. You know, I want you to be really open to receive what I'm about to share with you. So that means if you got to let off some steam, please do it. If you need to yell or punch a pillow or go for a walk, whatever you need, go do it. Seriously. 
it's important to reduce some of the pressure that you're feeling, especially if you're feeling like you're going to pop. So get yourself to a place where you're feeling a bit more centered before we move on. I'll wait for you. All right. I'm happy that you're feeling better and that now you're a little bit more open to some ideas. So first off, I want you to listen because it is time to stop waiting for things to improve out there in order for you to allow yourself to feel better. I mean, what are you going to do if this lasts for another six months or another 12 months or more years, right? There's no telling how long all this is going to be going on. So let's get real. I mean, if you're feeling rough, if you're feeling like you're going to crack, we're a year into this thing. What are you going to do if it keeps going on? Are you going to wait until you get permission from somebody else to get back into some sort of routine, some sort of way of life that works for you? Are you going to wait to be told what sort of lifestyle that is going to work for you to feel better? Or are you going to be proactive and go out there and give yourself whatever it is that you need? You know, sometimes feeling like you're going to crack feeling like the stress is just suffocating you alive, sometimes that's the result of your tank being low for a long period of time. And seriously, you might just need to have your tank filled back up. It could be that simple. Let's do a real quick self-assessment right now. I want you to think about this question for a second. And how are you doing health-wise in these areas? Physically? Emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and socially. How are you doing? How are you feeling right now health-wise in those areas? Has your tank been low in any of those areas for the past several weeks or several months? Because, you know, a low tank can and definitely will lead to low energy, low mood, Low motivation, low optimism, low outlook. I mean, do any of those things sound or feel familiar to you? For almost a year, the world has just been crazy. It's been stressful. There's been so many things that are unknown. You know, there's new ways of going about work. There's new ways of seeing your friends and your family. There's new ways of just figuring out how to function like a normal human. And so it totally makes sense that your health is going to take a hit for a little while. But if you allow your health to stay low in any of those areas for a long period of time, I'm telling you, it's going to have some seriously negative consequences. So now, right now, is the time for you to become more proactive and to start making sure that you are taking care of your basic health needs. Basic self-care needs. Because the reality is no one can do it for you. I can't do it for you. Your friends and family can't do it for you. You've got to be the one to take that initiative to go and figure out whatever it is that you need and then to do it. And if you aren't feeling motivated, because I get it, that's a big part of it. When you're feeling low, your mood's down, your energy's down, your outlook is down, it's real tough to get motivated to do anything different to pick yourself back up. And if you're feeling like just making it through the day is a near impossible task, then I want you to simply start small. Start small. You don't have to try to tackle all this stuff at once. You don't have to try to fill up your entire tank at once. You know, because let's just say you've been doing not a whole lot for your mental or emotional health over the past several months. Maybe you don't even know how to fill that tank up. And so here you are hearing me tell you, hey, get that tank filled up. What you really need to do is just start small with one little thing, right? Don't try to change it overnight. You got to drop that entire idea 
that you're just going to flip a switch and it's all going to be better. No. Instead, I just want you to set an intention of working on developing one new healthy habit for yourself. Just one. Because huge leaps forward happen when you make tiny, tiny changes. And you stay consistent with those tiny changes over a long period of time. That's how it works. That's how big leaps happen. And you'll be surprised how much better you'll actually feel by just doing one small positive thing for yourself. And here's what I find in my own life. When I do one small positive thing for myself, it tends to trickle into a second small thing, which then can lead to a third small thing. And then by that point, you're doing things without even thinking about it. It's just the momentum that's carrying you forward. So I really, really stress to you to figure out whatever that it is that you need to feel better and to start doing those things for yourself. And now I recommend that you have two types of activities or habits that you think about and work on. The first is called in case of emergency. You want to figure out your in case of emergency activity that you can turn to whenever you feel like you're about to crack. When the walls are closing in on you, when you're feeling that suffocation come on, you got to figure out something that you can turn to in case of emergency and you use it. All right? Maybe it's just closing your eyes and taking a few deep breaths. Maybe it's screaming into a pillow. Maybe it's getting out of your house and just pacing your yard. Maybe it's listening to some super loud music. Whatever it is, figure it out and start using it when you feel like you're boiling over. That's the first type of habit, the first type of activity that I'm recommending. The second is I really want you to determine what self-care actions help you to stay sane and help you to keep your energy and your optimism high. I want you to figure those things out and then make a commitment to yourself to work on those things consistently until they become new habits for you. Remember, start small, be consistent, and build over time. Now, this isn't just about you doing more stuff and filling up your tank and doing all that. I also want you, I want to encourage you to ask for help. Ask for help. Now is not the time to try and tough it out alone. It really isn't. You need to connect with people in some way and lean on them when you're struggling. Reach out to a friend or a family member who can lend you an ear. You can tell them how you're feeling. Find a community online and just connect with people over your experience, what you're going through. A lot of other people are going through it as well. The point is, don't let your ego tell you that you should be dealing with this alone. Because you don't have to. It's foolish to try to deal with it alone. Because sometimes when you're feeling low, when your mood's low, energy's low, optimism is low, it's really, really, really hard to pick yourself up out of that low place. You know, sometimes the healthy habits can work and those deposits in your tank can work. I've experienced it myself. But other times, you need a helping hand. So ask for help. And listen, if you feel like you need some legitimate professional help, then go get it. Go get it. I'm telling you, it is foolish to be staring a panic attack or a full breakdown in the face and to do nothing about it. Particularly if you know that you're prone to those things and particularly if they have been happening over an extended period of time during this pandemic. And if you don't know where to turn, if you don't know where to go, ask a friend or a family member for help finding the support. Again, don't try to do it alone. 
Hey, you can even ask me. Shoot me an email. Matthew at MatthewBivens.com. I'd be happy to point you in the direction of some resources. Point is, if you need some help, if you feel like you need some help, go get it. Go make it happen. Now, the last thing I'm going to say is going to seem a little bit odd. But there's a deep message in here. I want you to stop hoping for things to get better. Instead of holding so desperately onto hope that relief is going to come, I want you to instead be asking yourself, what do I need to do right now to make it through this next moment? I want you to focus on what you can do to keep yourself going in this moment so that you can make it through today. All you have is this moment. You don't have tomorrow or the next week or the next month. None of those things are guaranteed. You have right now. Right now. So instead of holding out hope, develop the mindset that I can make it through this moment. I will focus on right now and on putting one foot ahead of the other. Because the more you can be present in this moment, doing what needs to be done right now, the longer you're going to be able to go and the greater your experience will be. And you're going to feel more empowered and more encouraged because you'll start to see that you are the one who is the biggest factor as to whether or not you're going to crack. Not what happens out there in the world, but how you're taking care of your internal climate. When you can keep your internal climate pleasant, it doesn't matter how stormy it gets out there. You can flow. That's a big difference than holding on to this hope that something is going to change, that somebody else or somebody or some entity is going to bring relief to you because it may not come and you can be sitting and waiting and hoping forever. So instead, think of what do I need in this moment right now to get me to the next moment? It really is a moment-to-moment thing. It's a moment-to-moment game that we're playing right now. Whoever is able to stay present and move powerfully and effectively and healthily into the next moment, that's who's going to win. That's who's going to stay sane. That's gonna, who's going to stay grounded in the midst of all of this craziness. You are not in this alone. I know you can do it. Just take it one day at a time. Quick note about the Having It All podcast. I'm not a doctor nor a licensed therapist. I'm a guy with a story and a passion for a conscious conversation. My thoughts, opinions, and beliefs are my own. So please consult with your doctor or healthcare provider regarding any questions or issues you have related to your personal physical or mental health.